This video is going to demonstrate how to create a property boundary outline or a drone flight map outline using Google Maps and exporting it to a KML or KMZ format that you can import into Google Earth or other flight planning or GIS software. This video assumes that you have a Google account. First thing you'll need to do once you're in Google Maps is go up here to the top left corner and click on the three bars. You'll see a menu come up. One of the top items in the menu is your places. Click on your places. That'll bring up this sidebar menu. You'll see lists labeled visited and maps. You want to click on maps. And then this is where you can store your own maps within your own Google profile. We're going to go down here at the bottom to create map. And that will open a new tab that will zoom the map out. And so you're going to have to search for your desired property. We're going to do this one where we just were. Zoom out a little bit here. Okay, and then if you want to change the base layer for the map, you can click here and base map. And we'll select satellite so we can see things a little bit easier. We're going to be working in this layer right here that's currently labeled as untitled layer. I'll go up here and select the draw a line tool. When I select that, it'll give me a range of different options. I'll just take the first one, add a line or shape. And then I just start clicking the points on the map that correspond to the property boundary or the drone flight plan outline that you want to follow. I'll just do this really quick for demo purposes here. Google Maps is nice that it actually resizes and uh, moves the map zone. If you get close to the edge of the screen, you don't have to click out of the tool. So we'll go up here. It'll do that again. I can nudge the map screen up here. There we go. Okay, and then that last point, just hover over it, it'll click it. And then once it says, okay, you've made a contiguous polygon, go ahead and label it. We'll call it 370ORR property boundary. And we'll save that. And then likewise, we'll name this layer 370ORR boundary. All we need for the purposes of this in order to highlight the property boundaries is now to export the data. So we'll click on these three dots here, select that. Scroll down to export data and select KML, KMZ. We'll select the second option, which is export as KML instead of KMZ. And then we'll download that file. Once that file is downloaded, we can then open it in Google Earth, which I have running on my desktop. So I've gone and double click that file. And then we'll go here to Google Earth and you can see the file outline. We can change the visibility of this by right clicking it, going to get info, and then selecting style and color. Instead of filled and outline, we'll just go to outline since we're looking at a property boundary. We'll change that color to white so it pops. And we'll make that line a little bit thicker. Okay, so there we have it. We have our property boundary. We can now import this into our drone mapping flight planning software, or we can use this to map property boundaries in most GIS mapping platforms.